Concatenate, explaining cast on multiples. One of the most common questions that we get here at News Stitch a Day is, what does it mean when a pattern says cast on in multiples of X plus Y, where X is the first number and Y is the second number? A lot of people think that it means that you add them together and then you cast on in multiples of that, and that's not exactly true. So let's take a, an example from one of our stitches. This stitch here is called the zigzag eyelet column stitch, and you can find it in our video stitchinary. And uh, the column stitch is made up of these stitches right here. In fact, if we were to chart this out, you'd see that there are actually two stitch columns that the pattern is made over. And if you're not familiar with uh, charts, this is what the pattern actually looks like if you chart it out. So let's take a closer look at this chart. The repeat is actually done over four stitches. That's these four, I'm sorry, four rows. That's these four right here. So let's pull these out and take a closer look at these. Now, if you're not familiar with chart symbols, uh, let's do a quick review. This is a yarn over. This is a slip slip knit. This here is a knit two together. And these white stitches are purl stitches. So on the wrong side of our row, we will be purling these. So as we said before, this is done over two stitches, uh, two columns and four rows. Now you'll begin in the right bottom part of the chart and work to your left. On the second row, you'll work from left to right. Okay. Now, if we were to repeat this pattern over and over and over again, it would look something like this. The problem is this doesn't actually look like this. What we want is to border these two rows of stitches or two columns of stitches with some stitches on either side, like these. And if we were to chart this out, it would look something like this. We have our two stitches in the center and then we have four stitches on either side. So this is actually a 10 stitch repeat. We can see here four stitches, two stitches and four stitches, which is a lot like what we started out with. Now, if we were to then cast on in multiples of 10 here, we would end up with something kind of like this. But there's another problem. In a center, we've actually duplicated those four stitches. We have too many in between each set of stitches. We don't want eight, we want four. So we need to get rid of four of these stitches for it to work out. So let's just take those out. So now what we've done is we've taken those original two stitches and we've added four more stitches on one side. And when we do that, uh, we end up with six stitches, our two column stitches for the pattern and then the four buffer stitches. It would look something kind of like this in our pattern. We have our two column stitches and we've got these other four rows of knitting stockinette on the side. And if we were to begin to repeat these over and over again, we'd get a chart that looks something like this. But we have another problem. We're missing something on this side. The pattern's not quite even. So what we need to do is add in those other four stitches. These four stitches are our plus four, and it gives the pattern symmetry so that it looks really nice. So when you look at the cast on, and your pattern says multiples of six, plus four, what we're getting is our multiples of the stitch pattern repeat, and then an additional four stitches that we add on at the end in order to give us symmetry. So the pattern looks nice and even in the fabric. So let's take a quick example. Let's say that we are knitting a scarf project and our gauge is five stitches per inch. Okay. And we want to make our scarf nine inches wide. So we know that we need five stitches per inch. So we will multiply five times nine and that will give us 45 stitches. But we want to use the pattern that we were just working with, which is a multiple of six. Now 45 is not divisible by six. So we need to add stitches or subtract them so that our pattern is 
divisible by 6 and comes out with a whole number. In this case, that's going to be 48 stitches. So if we take our 48 stitches, we have our pattern repeats, and then we will need to add 4 stitches onto it so that the pattern is symmetrical, which will give us a total of 52 stitches. So again, our multiples are of x. In this case, it's going to be 6. The 48 is 8 multiples of 6. And then our y is plus 4. So we're adding on those 4 stitches to make the pattern symmetrical. And our total cast on stitches in this case is 52. Now, again, this was 8 multiples. But if we wanted to do 9 multiples, then we would have 54 stitches plus 4 which would equal 58 stitches. Or if we wanted to have 10 multiples, we would end up with 60 stitches plus four, which would equal 64 cast on stitches. So now you know what the pattern means when it says that you'll need to cast on in multiples of X plus Y. Your X is the multiples of stitches in the stitch repeat, and the Y is the stitches you'll add on to the end to make it even. If you want to find more great tutorials like this sent to your email inbox every day, visit newstitchaday.com slash VIP.